Well, it's got kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation regarding the future of work. We know that COVID-19 kind of changed uh, how we're working and a lot of companies, as we mentioned, are being creative in terms of working from home or being, they're saying, okay, working from home can be done. So what do you think the future of work will look like and how companies will adjust? So, I mean, it, it's interesting question. It's an interesting question because it's taken a global pandemic for workforces to change. And, you know, back in the day as a strategist, I would have these meetings with corporate people going, you know, we need to think about revisiting a, a remote workforce opportunity. And I, you know, back in the day, you'd get excuses like, oh, this is going to take so long. It's going to take, you know, a year or two to change. And they literally have managed to do that within two to three days. So obviously we're in a situation now where we're forced to evolve. And I feel like this particular moment in time will change everything. You know, we're going to start noticing, oh, wow, we saved a lot of money by having people work from home because we didn't have to pay for an office space. Oh, wow, we can still be pr productive and we can trust our workforce, even though they're working from home. You know, technology is allowing us to be more uh, safe with our data and how, you know, how well we should be. And, you know, there are opportunities to improve that as far as privacy is concerned, but productivity and trust and, and hiring, all of that stuff is going to change. It's going to evolve. And, you know, you got to remember the person who came up with an eight hour concept came up with the, this concept in the 1800s. <laughs> so even that's going to change because, you know, with parents homeschooling and, and trying to have different facets of life, you know, there's this huge study that we're living an imbalanced life right now. So I don't think it's just about, you know, it evolving to a digital workforce. I think we're going to change the concept. You know, most people are productive for three to five hours a day. The rest of the time we're, we're reading meaningless emails, we're replying all, we're looking at memes, we're looking at the internet, or better yet, we're in these meetings that could be done in five minutes and we're doing it for two hours. So I think that, you know, as a human race, we're progressing and our, our thought process should evolve as well. Why are we, you know, saying that we should be working for eight hours when we could be doing the same job for four or five hours? Here's another concept. What if you paid people more to work less? So if I was able to do the same job that I would normally do for eight hours and I could do it in four or five hours and get paid more, then there's a motivation to live a better balanced lifestyle. So I feel like this moment in time is going to change how we see everything. We're going to, you know, design, think how we should work in the future. And right now we're working by default. We're not working by design. So we need to change that concept and not just evolve where we work, but how we work. Yeah. And I also believe that the future of work or after the pandemic is over, when people are asking for going for interviews, they will be asking like, is there a way I can work from home once a week or twice a week? And Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, we're seeing, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a strategist that works with different clients. Sometimes I have to be at the location. This was before, you know, the COVID hit. And uh, other times I had to work from, from my, my own place. You're doing digital calls, you're doing board calls, you know, you're doing productivity. The concept of watching what your employees do every single minute, that was a necessity in the manufacturing days when, you know, every minute counted. And some jobs require that, you know, and some jobs require you to have monitoring. But, you know, you have to ask yourself, what type of work do you do? And is it a job that requires you to be on call? 24 seven? Is it a job that you can do in a couple of hours? And so if you're in sales and you get your sales results in a couple of hours, you don't need to work an eight hour day. There, there's companies there right now that, you know, tell their salespeople, if you hit your sales quota, you can go home, you're done. So, you know, we have to evolve our way of thinking and change how we're working to create a better culture and to create a better environment for our workforce. But what about the leaders that they feel that there's kind of a dis distrust if the, if the employee is working from home or if they are working remotely, how can we evaluate or do their performance reviews? What are your thoughts right. about I think there's two things. Number one, if you don't trust your workforce, don't work with that workforce, right? At the end of the day, we hire people we like and trust and we have, and trust goes two ways. So at the end of the day, you know, if you're working with someone, 
Um, you need to give them that blind trust to start with, because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, that's what we do when we hire people. We don't know how they're going to turn out, but where you can see and measure is on the results. What is the outcome of their work? How are you achieving your goals together? And that's where you're, you know, the performance review itself needs to change yeah. from performance to purpose. What is the purpose of this particular review? We're not here to optimize someone's life. We're here to work together to optimize, optimize the performance of our brand. And that's more important. What are our values? You know, you can gauge someone based on the values you share, uh, not just on the performance of how they work, right? So I think, you know, again, the, the way of monitoring and mistrusting people, that's a draconian way of running leadership and, and businesses. And that might have worked in the 1800s, but we're in a very different workforce. Most of the people who are working today have side hustles. They have, you know, we, I've worked with people who DJ at nighttime or who are bouncers on the weekend because, you know, they live in an outrageous country or city and they can't afford to just live in with one job. So they're, they're forced to work two or three jobs, you know? If someone has kids and they're homeschooling, you have to create a more flexible environment for them. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I think it's going to change how we lead people and everything from HR to productivity to performance, all of those things have to evolve as well. Thank you for that, uh, Bosco. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of future of work or how it's going to look like or tips for leaders, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Bosco.